Hi everyone, we just finished this game here. I wanted to start the video by thanking Nurglefitz for his comments answering my questions last time. Uh, I know that I almost entirely ignore you in this game because <laughs> I forgot what you said. <laughs> But I went back and checked at the end. So thank you very much. Uh, and thank you to anyone who's watching the videos. I appreciate it. And thank you to my friends and family who've watched them and sent me messages and stuff that are not on YouTube. Um, I just want to start the video by thanking you guys. I appreciate that effort. So um, hopefully I'm not too boring for you. If you have any suggestions for me to be less boring or have any suggestions for me to, um, you know, make these videos better or anything you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments below or send me a message if, if that's what you want to do. Hey, look, my cat's come. Okay, bye. As the Technodyne cybernators make their way through the city, scavenging whatever they can for parts, they come across the risen bodies of the dead, including the Templar that they had just slaughtered. Will they survive this undead onslaught in this episode of Operation Lakshmi. Alrighty, welcome back for another video. Uh, we're going to do it's sort of a, just a small little skirmish type deal. Not actually, like skirmish is a rule set. We're not doing actual skirmish like firefight. We're just doing like, you know, small, small points battles. Uh, two teams, 500 points. Uh, it is the uh, Cybernators, the, uh, the, the Robot Legions versus, um, they're called Plague Disciples. Uh, they're just undead dudes, you know. <laughs> I did the Plague Disciple so I could get the, the Space marine dudes uh, from last one as zombies. I thought that was a really cool little touch. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd quickly break down the narrative campaign, like what the plan is. There, there has been a plan, and I just thought I'd break it down real quick uh, and show you guys that, and then we'll get into the game. Okay, so remembering that, uh, you know, we're, we're just here to learn the rules. This is kind of my little... Five, five magic game, uh, slowly building up in points to, to get stuff. So I thought I'd start with the Crimson Templar. You can see all my little spelling mistakes there because this is what happens when you write with text or when you're an adult, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, the first one is just Lakshmi 4, right? The, the planet. Uh, we, we had that Crimson Templars versus the Cybernators. Whoever wins that was going to fight the undead. And then the winner of this match will go on to fight, you know, the survivors of the planet, the humans, and we'll reveal a bit more of the story as we go along, right? Uh, and then uh, the winner of that will then fight the Crimson Templars, who are a bit upset that, uh, you know, their initial scout squad got destroyed. Uh, and then finally, we might have like a very large sort of all-in brawl battle for the spaceport, um, you know, to sort of test out some bigger armies and, and you know, multiple players, I guess, <laughs> basically. Um, so today's is just like, you know, a little in the city skirmish, uh, between two teams. Uh, let's take a quick look at the, um, the, the board. I promise it won't be shaky cam all the way through this time. Um, but yeah, I'll, hang on, I'll zoom out a bit. So we've just got like some buildings and stuff on my very crappy roads. I gotta make better boards. <laughs> It'll be shaky cam for now and then we'll, we'll put it on a tripod and you can tell me which one you think is better. But you can see here we've just got, um, you know... Just some buildings, power generator, big old communications tower, whatnot. Uh, lots of little sort of streety avenue things. If I get a good shot through there, that looks pretty cool, right? Uh, lots of little fiery, fiery corridors, bridge, vertical terrain. Lots of fun on this, on this one. Um, yeah, so let's meet the armies. Okay, so we have the army for the zombies. Uh, we can see here we've got the uh, the Crimson Templar who have risen from the grave. And we've got the, the citizens of Lakshmi 4. We've got two groups of ten of them. Now, technically, these guys are only meant to have five uh, dudes. But they have come in under points. So uh, I'm going to give them an extra six dude. Which, there were six guys in the first video. So that makes sense to me, I think. So it's about 500 points of zombie dudes. Um, all with slow and regeneration. So again, this is going to be a slow game. And this is about 500 points of our robot legions. Uh, our Technodyne Cybernators. Uh, we've got just two squads of ten. I know these guys have got the fancy weapons. Uh, but they do not actually have the fancy weapons. Uh, did you know that two squads of just ten dudes, uh, comes out to exactly 500 points? So there you go. Good to know. <laughs> so... Uh, no, no fancy characters in this one. Just two basic level guys. We want to learn the rules. Alrighty, so 
I hope you like this view because this is the view that we'll be having for the rest to avoid the shaky cam. You'll have to tell me whether you prefer stationary camera to shaky cam. <laughs> Maybe we do a mix of both. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to find my old phone so that I can uh, I, I can do both. But um, here we go. Anyway, uh, this is our board. Uh, it's a little city board. I've done the deployments. I've done the tokens. I think these kind of precarious bridges might be difficult terrain. But if we do that, we might not actually be able to reach across. Hang on. Yeah, no. Okay, never mind. No difficult terrain. There is blocking terrain. Um, otherwise, we're just going to move as is. Uh, the rolls were... Uh, that the zombies won to place the tokens first and the zombies won to deploy first. They've deployed... <clears throat> their, their only unit that's not slow is these um, ex-space marines uh, <laughs> that are up here. Um, and they're going to make a grab for that one, obviously. Uh, the other two units have deployed down there. Uh, we've got blue team and red team uh, because they're like... I like this guy. I like to think this is their leader. You know, he's like a ringmaster. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's the red guy, and I've got the identical one with the blue guy. Uh, I like the blue guy, actually. He's my favorite model of all the zombies that I've painted up. Um, there's no special characters in this one, uh, partly just because I haven't got enough Patreons to do that yet. Uh, so if you want to name some characters, jump onto patreon.com slash rjsrangers and uh, help me flagrantly self-promote my works. Uh, and you can name stuff. Remember, naming a character comes with it. Uh, the I will write you a story for that character. Um, so, yeah, not just having your character on here, uh, but there you go. But this time we've got no special no special people. Technically, this guy's Lorenzius, uh, my, my wife's character, who's now a zombie. Uh, there you go. Uh, and then, obviously, the uh, Robot Legion Necron dudes, um, they've done one team's up on top, the other team's down at the bottom. Now, this board is quite small. Because I only have a small space. It's like three and a half feet by two and a half feet. Now, normally when we have these big games like this, uh, I would be running um, like in centimeters just to kind of half the distance. Uh, but today, because everyone's slow, I think we will just go for, um, you know, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just go for it. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. Um, we get four turns. Uh, we're playing it by the book. Today's goal is to be by the book, as by the book as possible. Um, orange tokens, in case you haven't worked out, are the, um, what do they call it? The, the objective markers. We rolled the dice, we got two, plus two is four. Uh, they're orange for now. When someone's captured them, I'll flip them. Green for the Necron dudes, blue for the undead dudes. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll put red tokens on things to signify that they have been activated. Uh, and that should be the setup for this game. Uh, here we go. Um, because the, or again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know, I'm still learning the rules, and that's the goal of this game, is to be as rules-centric as possible. So, um, my understanding is that, because the zombies set up first, the uh, Necrons get to go first. Uh, so, without further ado, let's activate a group and move them first. They can charge, whatever it is, rush. They're going to rush eight, and where are they going to go? I think there's going to be a big battle for the middle one. So let's do this legitimately. Eight inches. And they can all kind of march down the street. It's a robot pride parade. <laughs> I mean, what are the pronouns for a Necron? They, them, I'm guessing, right? That's not true. In 40k law, they have, um, you know, look, I'm marching them like in a proper like formation here. I don't know. I guess they're robots. That makes sense to me. Um, but there you go. I don't know how good that is for shooting, but that'll be their thing. Oh, we got to put a token. Tokeny token. So that troop has activated and they can't shoot uh, because, you know, they they marched. They did a, did a fast march. Yeah, I was saying like in 40k, I know they're gendered, but who knows? What is the gender of a robot? Um, all right. We are going to activate... I mean, why would we not activate these guys just to get a nice, easy, easy uh, capture of this? Charge them up. You don't want to see me move these things. I should cut this out. We'll see. Maybe I'll cut this out. This guy just moved backwards, so there you go. I did like painting these with all the little tentacles and stuff. It was very cool. Uh, and then they need a token. La-di-da. Now... 
Uh, they sort of charged up too. Do we? Do they get the token at the end of their turn, or is it like at the end of the activation phase? Let's read some rules. Oh, look, I got the rule book. At the end of each round, a unit that's within three markers, and the definition of a round is each round is made up of multiple. So at the very end, once everyone's had their turn. Okay, good to know. All right, uh, these guys then have no choice but to maneuver along here. Are they? They might walk and shoot. I think some of them can definitely shoot. Um, yeah, they can see. Are they in range? Of course they're in range. It's a tiny table. <laughs> so <laughs> let's uh, let's measure. So the closest one, and their weapons have a range of 24. Okay, well, that's not helpful. <laughs> I should have measured their range first. All right, 24 from here. Uh, one, two. So this front row can... That front row can shoot. And can that guy see? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dudes can have a crack. And they, of course, have the Gauss rifles, so the rending is in play from last time. I can't believe how powerful that rending is. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to roll into here. If I'm smart, I'll put the branding the right way up. If you haven't been to RJNet, uh, it's like my website. It's terrible. I need to fix it. Um, anyway, quality three plus. Here we go. Kapow. Oh, can we see? Uh, that one didn't make it. Uh, but the rest did. That's pretty good. Is it to hit rolls of six? What's rending? Rending. To hit of six. So we've got one that is automatic wound. Two that is an automatic wound. So we will yeet two of those guys off. Uh, and it ignores regeneration as we found out last time. So, uh, and then these ones. The zombies have a, a defense check of six plus. Wow, they're going to get slaughtered. All right, six plus. Here we go. Uh, oh, that is a six. So one of them saves and the other three are dead. Uh, but they are not, re they get regen because zombies have regen, I believe. Yes, they're slow and they're undead. What's undead do? When this takes a, oh, the, their morale. They, they get like the robots, they get minus one. Uh, their regen is, I always forget this, five plus. So we've got two that regenerate. That's pretty happy. One more dude dies. So. We need to take one, two, three, four, five. That's half the squad. One, two, three. It's going to be a short game. Four, five. Okay. Uh, now, they have a morale test. So, how does that work? Uh, for each one and two. So, there's five dudes in the unit still. Maybe they won't have a... Maybe they won't have a thing. Okay, for every one and two, we take another dude. So, one guy, also gone. Oof. Big hits from the Necrons. I mean, legally distinct <laughs> Terminator dudes. <laughs> Robot Legions. Uh, but there's still a squad enough there to, to do that. And these guys have their turn, uh, which we'll... They're just going to charge up. I don't think zombies... They are melee units, so they do not have um, shooty abilities. Oh, wait. Have I missed the dude? No, that's the second one. Okay. Well than the other two units of these guys. See, when you got uneven, I don't know. Battletech does that in a good way. Like, if you have double the amount of your opponent left to move, then you... Or triple the amount. Like, you move three instead. You know, then you move two if you've got double. Very interesting. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Enjoying the game. All right, so they're, they're going to move up and capture that. And then, obviously, these guys, they do not have slow stuff. So they can actually make it across there, capture this, and shoot back which we might do exactly that. Um, now, uh, one of these guys has a flamer, and we're going to say it's the guy with the plasma gun, because uh, that's close enough to being a flamer. Uh, and they're all veterans, because uh, they were veterans in the last game. Um, so they're going to jump over there. Now, not jump. They're going to clamber over the ladder. <laughs> over to there. <laughs> and they're going to shoot at these guys down here, uh, maybe. Oh, I didn't put my activate. Not that it matters. I mean, we know who's activated. I guess that was good, because I recognized who didn't activate before. But there you go. Follow the rules. Put your tokens down. I'm warning you. You put your tokens down. All right. So, <laughs> uh, they have heavy rifles, which also have 24. But more importantly, they have a 12-inch flamer. Which, is it going to reach anyone? No, nah, doesn't reach. I do like that this system is like, yeah, just vertical is fine. Measure vertically. 
and that covers your vertical stuff. So the rest are in, uh, and their shooty things get one each. So we've got five, one, two, three, four, five, five shooty things uh, out of the six. Uh, and even though in the last one, Lorenzius didn't have, uh, he's picked up a rifle <laughs> since becoming a zombie. He's more effective. Uh, they need three plus to hit. Uh, here we go. All right, that, it was a terrible roll. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, these guys. This is how I usually roll, right? Like, I roll terribly most of the time. Two of them don't hit. Uh, the defense of the Robot Legions is four plus. So fours save. So we still have two wounds. Uh, but they have regeneration. So five or six. No, we actually do two wins. Yay. I guess two out of five is statistically pretty good on a three plus, right? That, that's reasonably accurate. And um, Now, I'm going to do something that bothers me. Ready for a rant? I know you don't come here for rants, but it looks like this is going to be a short game, so I've got to fill some time in. Uh, you know, if I was shooting to stop people from advancing, I would be shooting the people at the front, right? Uh, but obviously, in these games, we take things from the back. Uh... <laughs> I, I, that was instinctively to, for me to... It's been ingrained in me, um, you know, to do this. Because, I mean, just to... Further to my point. I know you don't care about this rant, but I'm going to give it anyway. Like, further to my point. So, I, this started a long time ago. I was playing with a guy who I used to know called Ian. Lovely guy. Uh, he and I disagree. He's, like, lawful and I'm chaotic. So, like, we had that, uh, you know, <laughs> had a very strong disagreement in that sense, right? And it was his... Uh, I don't get to play a lot of games. Uh, he had Tyranids, and I had um, I, I can't, probably Dark Angels, maybe Tau. It, it would have been Tau actually, because I was scared of getting into melee. And like it was similar setup to this, lots of terrain, city fight, and like I, I blew up the the Tyranids at the front, and he took them from the back. And I said, well, first of all, I can't even see the miniatures at the back. How can they take wins from that? But secondly, like look at this, look at the advance. That so if I were to take them from here, sure, that shortens my you know, distance by, by two inches. But if I take them from that, it's as if these two have moved, uh, you know, seven inches up the table, right? Ask any gentleman. Seven inches is a long way. <laughs> seven inches is a long distance, apparently. Uh, so, there you go. That is... <laughs> That is the wounds from there. But yeah, so by taking them from the back, I gain a 7-inch advantage. 7-inch advantage. That needs to be a t-shirt, I think. <laughs> we got the old 7-inch advantage. Uh, and that then... So they haven't lost more than half, right? You don't take morale unless you lose more than half, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, I'm going to double-check that. But yes, I believe so. And that would end our turn, I believe. Um, how am I doing so far? Hopefully these videos are entertaining for you, especially when I'm flipping through the rules like a dickhead. Uh, morale, when to take the test. The unit takes casualties, they're psychologically, whenever it takes wounds, it lives half or less. Yeah, cool. All right. Just checking, I want to be rules legit, right? That's my goal, is to be rules legit in 2023. <laughs> um, okay, so obviously nothing's within three inches of this. This one, it's a strong start for, what did I say, blue for the undead. Strong start for the zombies. Now, granted, they were, um, they had more in the, uh, they had more closer to them. Uh, and the reason for that is because I thought I was going to be playing, like, long edge to long edge, but I realised that's too close a distance. Like, the game would be over. Uh, we can clear these. Always clear your tokens. Clear your tokens. All right, we're up to the next turn. Very good. So, uh, now, do you switch? I feel like if this were a balanced game, which I do like this better than 40k because you are um, like switching turns. Each new round, the player that finished activating first on the last round gets to activate going first. So, if you finished activating, so that means the small army always wins after four full rounds. Oh, and we have to turn our turn counter. We're on turn two. All right, we are officially on turn two. That's interesting. Yeah, I feel it's a bit more fair. Like, if you finished activating first... I see, that's the thing I don't like. If you finish first, then, you know, if you're going again, then you're going to run out of... Um, like, that seems counterintuitive to me. It means that the smaller army has to go... 
the smaller, I guess, the smaller army means that there's more points in each unit. I guess. I, look, I, I'm sorry that this is becoming like uh, some kind of a, a hypothetical, you know, theory crafting <laughs> video as we go through. Just get to hear my philosophies on the world. But still, because that means I can obliterate this squad, right? Like I can just march down here. They're slow, so they only get to walk four. Um, yeah. In fact, maybe what we'll do is we'll sort of splay out into some kind of firing line, which is what a real army would do. So that we get more guys that are not blocking each other's sight. I don't know if you guys, I, I, I think someone answered that in the comments. Thank you to the person who commented all the rules question answers to me. Uh, I really appreciate that. If I was a good person, I'd look it up and um, I will look it up before the end of this video. Uh, and I will thank you personally for that because that was solid. You are a solid gentleman or gentle person. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so they've moved and they're going to shoot their Gauss rifles at these these dudes, which all of them are within 12. So happy days, we get 10. Is there still 10 dudes there? No, there's not. There's only 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. No fancy dudes. They need a three plus to hit. Uh, ooh. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Um, like I said, don't worry about the website because it's hot garbage. Oh, my goodness. You know what else is hot garbage? My ability to throw things into a box. You know what else is hot garbage? My luck when it comes to rolling. Oh, we got one rending wound. Um, so we'll take one dude. One duderino is automatically, automatically gone. All right, zombie defense is six plus, so they're probably going to get absolutely... Wait, oh, what? No, I wrecked that because I picked it up before I took the misses out because I'm a flipping idiot. All right, we're going to count that one rending win because they earned that rend. <laughs> if we get any more rending, we'll say sixes count as ones, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a terrible roll too, so I don't know. Oh, I feel bad now. All right, we're just going to take those. We'll say that six counts as a one because I know it was a terrible one. Three. We'll see. I'll look in the edit how close I was. Is three the correct number of hits? Probably not. There's three dudes. Here we go. Their defense, they need sixes. Oh, maybe me fudging up is what saves this unit. And it, I. Oh, wait. They get regen. Do they have a five or six for regen? No, they don't. All right. Oh, I can't believe I wrecked that. What an idiot. Now, I. it pains me to take the, the ringmaster, but... I need to be close to that. The closer I am, the better, I guess. Oh, this guy has to take his uh, morale test. Uh, and what's his deal? It's on a one or two. Here we go, morale test. It was a four, so he's morale okay. Oh, man, I can't believe I ruined that. See, this is what happens. You get distracted. I get distracted a lot. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Alright, so they've activated. I guess these guys... Oh, they're going to activate. Who are they going to activate? Um, why not activate... Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Okay, we're going to activate these guys over here on the far, the blue team. Uh, and we're going to charge. And we're going to have some melee into these, into these clowns. Now, their charge is only eight, though, so hopefully they make it within an inch. Oh, they're just short. Well, I said it. I have to do it. That's how it works, right? I'm going to charge up. Are they within an inch? No, they're within two inches. Rude. <laughs> oh, well, they'll get mowed down next turn, I guess. I'll just move them all up. I know that's a terrible measuring job. You know, my complaining about seven-inch advantage before is completely... Uh, neutralized by the fact that I just moved one guy from the back of the crowd to the front of the crowd. But look, these guys don't have shooting anyway, so they, they might as well just charge up. There we go. They're activated. Them not charging is probably a good thing. Uh, and my own stupidity... Oh, look, you can't even see them behind the building. Rip. <laughs> my own stupidity probably saved me from these guys, because that means that the I should have shot these guys first. So I'm learning tactical lessons by being a dickhead. All right, let's move these fellows up. They're going to... Oh, do they just advance up? I think they're going to move slowly again because they want to shoot. And I think... Do they want to shoot the horde? Or do they want to shoot... Um, 
Oh, and they'll be able to trigger it anyway, because they're within three. So that's okay. Do they want to shoot the horde? Or do they want to shoot the um, the power rangers on the top of the roof here? What's their best bet? Um, I think, do robots help their friends? <laughs> and which one is helping their friends the most? So I'm just going to have a sip of drink so that I uh, don't wreck my voice. So, how about in the comments, you tell me what you would do. Would you shoot at the horde of 10 zombies coming to charge your buddies? Or would you shoot at the 10 Space Marine Power Ranger dudes uh, who are about to shoot at your buddies instead of charging them? Um, I don't know. And because I don't know what I would do, I'm going to roll a dice about this. Uh, one to three, I'll shoot the, the horde. And... Four to six, I'll shoot the Power Rangers. Here we go. It's Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin time. All right, so how many of these guys can actually reach the Power Rangers? Nine, ten. Now, you have to forgive me. I know this is probably very slow for you guys. You guys are, like, much faster at, at doing all this stuff. I haven't played for ages, so I'm really bad. And even when I did play, like, I was not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, we need three plus, and this time... I will not, I'm going to start by removing the things that are not three first, so I don't fuck this up. All right. Uh, and the six, one six is rending, automatic wound, no regeneration. Uh, and the rest are rolls to hit. Now, the brothers, the plague brothers, have a defense of three plus. Here we go. That's pretty good. Okay, so things that are not threes, there's two wounds left. Now, do plague brothers have regeneration? You bet your shiny bottom they do. Here we go. Uh, and nah. so we got three wounds. And each one of those only has one wound, I believe. Is that right? Yep, none of them have tough. So here we go. Three wounds. I gotta take half the squad. Holy poop. Oh no. Well, maybe we take that guy. It's fate that he falls down. <laughs> oh no, I, did, I took my captain guy. The captain guy has a plague sword, so we want to keep him, keep him alive. All right, that means they have to take a morale, uh, and they need to take a quality test. Is that right, morale? Oh, because they're undead. Are they undead? Yes, they are undead. Oh, no. Plague brothers are not undead. So they actually take a legit morale test. Now, my understanding is it's just quality, right? I'm just going to double check this because we want to be rules legit. Rules legit in 23. 2023. Fully rules legit. When to test, taking test. Uh, if the model is taking morale test because it lost models outside of melee, then it is pinned. Okay, and it's a quality test. All right, let's find out what this is. All right, so. Doop doop. All right, it's a quality test. We need three plus. Ciao. All right, so all of them passed. Happy days. No, no pinnings happen. Don't need to pin models these days. Back in the day, you used to have to drill heavy models and pin them together. Uh, you know. Share this video if you're old like me and, and remember that. <laughs> Having to pin the Balrog with its tiny little arms. Um, okay, so activating the the dudes, the Duderinos. Okay, so we're going to activate uh, these guys and shoot, uh, which is what we should have done back when they still had a billion dudes. Uh, and are they within 12? Yes, they are. So we will get the Flamer shot off as well. The flamer gives me six. Does it have anything fancy? It does not have anything fancy. Just a six. Uh, and we have two other dudes with their rifles. Uh, and they need a three plus to hit. Here we go. Ciao, three plus. Oh, that one's a six. Not that it matters in this case. That's not a six. That's not. That's, so it's not a three plus. That's not three plus. That's not three plus. All right. So we have one, two, three, four. So I'm just double checking that I'm doing things right. Heavy rifles are AP one. So does that mean their armor is one less, right? I'm right in thinking that. So their quality test, instead of being four plus, is gonna be five plus for the blue one, but not for the red one. Okay, so the blue one is fives, the red ones is fours. Here we go. Uh, that they take a bunch of wounds, but 
uh, being Robot Legions, they have Regenerate. So these ones are 5 plus. No, wait, they're 4 plus. So one guy, uh, that's fine. The blue one's 5 plus. There we go. Look, see, I'm doing it legit. I promise you it's legit. <laughs> All right. Uh, regeneration, 5 or 6. Is that right? Let me double check this. I know, I'm, I'm doing it. Yes, 5 plus. Okay. It's because it's worded 5 plus. Oh, look at that. They all regenerate. How annoying would that be? So you watch the robot crumple down uh, and they don't take any damage whatsoever. This is the second time that uh, this squad has seen that happen. <laughs> Last time that happened, they would ended up dead. Uh, so you can imagine the kind of stress that they are under. <laughs> and this leaves, uh, you know, old McGibbons over here. And you know what he's going to do? He is uh, going to charge into them. Boldly, Leroy Jenkins in it. Leroy Jenkins! And he is going to teach us how to do a melee phase. Yay! <laughs> Alright, uh, melee phase. Charging, may move up to 12 inches, blah blah blah, but he's slow. Uh, ignore the one inch distance restriction. However, it's a little more complex as we explain in the melee section. Cool, melee. Picking targets. We picked our target. Must pick one valid target of all models to charge unit. If at least one model within the t is within the range of one model of target unit has a clear path to reach it, which it did, uh, then that enemy is a valid target. If he was on the other side of the boxes, he would not have been able to do that charge. So happy days. Charge moves. Uh, to charge move, you move the character to get into base contact with the enemy from the target unit as close as possible. See, look, I play Tau, so I don't know how melee works in 40k either. So, <laughs> uh, as close as possible, the target unit maintaining unit coherency. That's not a problem. He's only got one guy. Uh, once all charging units have been moved, all models from the target unit that are not in base contact with the charging model move up to three inches to get in base contact with a charging model or as close as possible to an enemy model from the charging unit. Okay, so they have to move three inches, huh? This is going to be fun. A literal dog pile. You can put that so it doesn't close the page. All right, so that's a bit of a dog pile. He went from having two guys to having one, two, three, four, five guys dog piling him. So there you go. This is why these, this is the problem with these games. They're, they're very melee centric, right? Once you're in melee, enjoy that. <laughs> you know. It's... All models that are in base contact with an enemy model from the target unit or are within two inches. So all of them, all, all are going to do that. Um, may attack it. Models may strike with all their melee weapons, but may only strike models from the target unit. Determine attacks. So um, the, the one guy has two claws. Is that right? No. One claws. He has one claw. Oh, yeah. And, uh, one claw does two. Okay. After attacking melee for the first time in a round, either by charging or striking back, only units hit on modif uh, unmodified six. Okay, so it's not if they've shot. So, like, they've done their whole move and shoot. They get to fight at full efficiency, which to me, again, that sounds stupid, but okay. It's like you get an extra charge. All right, so our zombie, our charging zombie, here we go. He needs a uh, five plus to hit. Good luck to him. May, may Nurgle bless him. Oh, look at that. He got one hit. He could make a difference. <laughs> uh, the one robot that is there gets to block has a defense of 4+. plus. Oh, he doesn't make it! Uh, regeneration of 5+. plus. Oh, he regenerates. How soul-crushing. You, um, you know, you, you, you get through on this one random shot. You think, yes, I'm making a difference. And you, like, you think you tear his head off or whatever. And you're like, yes, I've done it. I've, I've made a difference. And then he just puts his head back on and like screws it back in. See, that's the power of a seven inch advantage. <laughs> also notice like there's an extra two guys who are fighting that wouldn't be if they didn't have that seven inch advantage. All right, here we go. Uh, all these guys fighting back have a three plus to hit. Um, Good luck, little guy. <laughs> Good luck, zombie. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> All right, we take the misses out first, because if I don't, I f*** it up. All right. Um, and that's their hits. There's no rending on these, because they're just claws, right? It's just normal hits. So he does get to defend. He has a six-plus defense. Can you imagine getting all these as sixes? I can't. Here we go. Oh, he does get some. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for my rolls. Uh, so we've got three wounds actually hit. Now he gets regeneration, five plus, right? Uh, oh, no regeneration. That's sad. That would have been cool if he had survived it. 
but that unit is toast. The first complete wiped out unit. GG, red, red team. It's up to the blue team now. The blue team and the former Crimson Templars. Uh, now, my understanding is this token remains blue, even though there's no one... Are, are they within three? I don't think they're within three yet. Yeah, they're not within three yet, so... Um, they will not get it. This one will flip to green, though. Alright. Righto. Uh, and I think that's it. That's it for the end of the round, right? Uh, clear the activation tokens. Very exciting round. Now, who finished the activation first? Of course, the smaller unit did. Um, so, who are they going to activate first? I wonder. <laughs> Have I got all of them? Yes, I've got all of them. Hmm. Turn three. Alright, we're going to take a minute to pause and ask you... If you are this unit, who are you... What are you doing? Are you shooting and... You're better at shooting because you get the rending, right? Are you shooting these guys or are you shooting the Power Rangers? What would you do if you were in this in this fight? I think maybe let's zoom in a bit. We can do that. I'm going to pause the camera and zoom in. Yeah, so what would you do if you were the unit that just fought? Are you shooting the Power Rangers? Or are you shooting the zombies that are about to attack you? Um, knowing that you've still got a, like 50% of your army backing you up. I think I would shoot... Um, I think I would shoot the... I think I'm going for the Power Rangers. Because I, I feel like they have the potential to do more damage. Whereas these zombies, like, they have lower numbers. That being said, like, those stupid robot... Um, those stupid robot guys last time with their sixes still managed to smash the crap out of everyone. So I guess they had rending, though. Like, rending... I don't know. Rending feels very powerful in this game. <laughs> uh, is, is rending broken? Who's to say? You, you you tell me in the comments. All right, so they're going to activate. They're going to um, they're going to move forward and shoot actually, because they can do that. They can move uh, within the three. Yep, they're within the three, and they are going to shoot up there, which is definitely within twenty four inches. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's still eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, pew pew time. Um, here we go. They need... Oh, I'm zoomed in. I've got to move forward. They need three plus. Here we go. Okay, remove misses. Step one. Miss, miss. Uh, sixes, rending. So one automatic wound. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Stay golden, pony boy. Uh, and that means that the rest... Uh, four plus, three plus defensive. Okay, their defense, three plus. Here we go. Uh, so those two are still wins. Uh, and the rest save. Wait, I did it the wrong way around. That's okay, I kept them aside. All right, regeneration. Uh, do they regenerate? Oh, no, they do not. So, it's been a pleasure knowing you. This squad is now toast. The Crimson Templar have been killed twice by the Necrons. <laughs> the Technodyne Cybernators have absolutely mopped them up twice. Um, and that is their turn. They're activated. They've got their little button. Um, and it's now the next team's turn to activate. Which are these little guys. I can't foresee them um, surviving. But I think you and I both know where this is going. They are going to charge. Because they're zombies. That's what they do. And by charge, I mean amble forth and go brains. Brains. They're going to be sorely mistaken. Now, the furthest guy away can get in contact with this guy. So, they all can get in contact. Is that legit? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure my moves are legit, people. All right. Let's move this activation token over here. They only have to get within two inches, too. So it's not like they have to, um, you know, be base to base, <laughs> as it were. All right, Team Blue. I'm really rooting for these zombie guys, but uh, I don't think... These Necrons are just too strong. They're just too strong. Oh, look, they, they can squish in, but they don't need to. So they're all in the fight. 
We've got 10 still. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, so we've got our 8 from before, plus 2. Oh, wait, they get 2 lots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so they get 20 dice. This could be a bit of a turnaround. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, they only have a quality of 5+, plus, so uh, here's... Here's to you, kid. We can see them, right? Yes, good. <laughs> just making sure we can see the move I just made. All right, here we go. Uh, what am I looking for? Five plus. That's not more than five. Neither is that. That's not, that's not. That's not, that's not. That's not. Whoops, that was a five. That's right, rolled on to six. That's not, and these two are not. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits get through. That's pretty good. Nine hits get through. Uh, and they need a defense of, they have four plus. Here we go. All right, lots of defense. So that did not defend. That did not defend. Have I been doing this wrong? I don't know. I'm, I'm second guessing myself now. Okay, so those ones... Have I, at the start of this video, been taking my successful saves <laughs> and rolling them instead of my failed save? I don't know. I'm getting all self-conscious because I'm recording myself. Here we go. Uh, their regeneration roll, five plus. Uh, and four, only two wounds out of that. That's That regeneration and rending combo is a... Uh, we get two wounds. Off they go. Look you. It's a brutal combo, having the regeneration plus the rending. All right. Uh, they will attack back. How many have we got left? One, two... Or we had eight. It'll be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Uh, and they need a three plus. Oh, those ones miss. But the rest are threes. The rest are threes. Uh, defense of uh, six plus. Rip. Uh, not, not all of them made it. All right, three. One, two... Take this guy over here. Three. Rock and roll. And that is that team's activation. And the only team left to activate is... Oh, wait. And at the end, see, at the end, the loser of that fight has to... Um, has to split. They have to move back an inch. Now, we had three guys take wounds. So I'm guessing these guys were the loser. Yeah, see, now this is what we were talking about last time. See, because we weren't doing, like, single activations. We were, like, activating whole armies. And we, so it was, like, you know, a big deal. Again, thank you to the person who gave me the correct information uh, about, about what the deal was with who wins and who loses. Um, which, again, <laughs> I, I have forgotten already. Because <laughs> they charge. So I think he was saying that charging uh, gives you a, a benefit. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, again, look that up. Uh, I'll, I'll read what he said, and I'll put it in the, like, post-game discussion. Uh, all right, these next guys. Now, look, I think they're going to get wiped out. So they don't even have to move, I don't think. But we'll, we'll move them up. Bring them all up here so they can go down the... They can go down the, um, the ladder next turn. You know what I mean? Bring them all up. Up the conga line. That's definitely a bit of a 7-inch advantage over there. Me, me moving these guys. Some of them have moved a bit more than they should, but whatever. We get the idea. They can all see and shoot within their 24 inches. Uh, so we, the lace still untouched. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Are they all still on camera? Yes, they are. Okay. Here we go. Three. For, they're shooting at the only guys to shoot at. In a surprise to no one, they're shooting at the people they can shoot at. <laughs> All right, that was pretty terrible. Uh, that one goes, that one goes, that one goes. That one goes. The rest are three. Plus, there are two rending wounds. So we've got two two wounds that ignore generation, regeneration. All right, and then four defense. Uh, their defense is six plus, so... Oh, one of them does defend. Go team. All right, and then we need... Three, five plus, if we want them to regenerate. And uh, one of them does regenerate. So we take two wounds. 
two more wounds. Now they have to do a morale test because they've been shot badly. Um, and we need three dice for that. And then they need to get five or more. Here we go. Five or more. Uh, two more dudes wound. All that's left between the zombies and the robots is uh, Mr. Blue. <laughs> uh, holding his ground. Defending <laughs> very, very nicely. Uh, at the end of round three, this one is going to flippity flip. Uh, and become a green one. There we go. I wouldn't mind if it was like a Dawn of War situation. Like, I don't know if you played Dawn of War, um, but like, you know, instead of it going, at the end of this round, it go neutral instead of, um, you know, straight to them, I guess. That would have been cool because then it kind of, that, that turn count, which is only four turns, which is one thing I like about this game. It's a short game if I don't stand here and ramble, uh, you know, <laughs> incessantly. <laughs> Uh, there we go. We're on turn four. It's the last turn of the game. Um, and uh, who activated... Well, look, now here's another problem with this system of... Act they, he who activated, finished activating first. So it's switched now. I did have more people before. Now I have less people. But I have to activate first. And uh, I'm about to have no people, is, is the answer to that question. <laughs> um, anyway, charge. <laughs> Let's do it. Two dice. Here we go. There's all those guys. Uh, what am I needing? Five plus one hit. Uh, and it's uh, not saved. Regen? No regen. Wow. He takes one guy out with him. He takes one out swinging with his giant hammer. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They're going to attack back. Uh, ooh, they need three plus. Um... Uh, we get all of them but one. He's going to defend with six plus. Wouldn't it be amazing if this guy just survives this fight? Uh, he saves one. Uh, he needed six plus, so he takes three wounds. He's Oh, wait, he's got three wounds to regen with. Here we go. Five plus. Oh, I saw that five. I got excited. Uh, yeah, hang on. There we go. So that's what we rolled. So he takes two wounds. He's dead, uh, which allows for... I didn't remove my activation token. Whoops. See? Naughty boy. You gotta clear your tokens, which allows for these guys on their actual turn to, I guess, charge over. Can they make it with their 8 inch charge? Is it within 3? Ah, oh, maybe it'll be a tie. <laughs> They're not within 3 at the end of turn at the end of turn 3. And these guys are not definitely not gonna have that. Um, and they are not within three of this one either. That's interesting. All right. So at the end of turn four, even if I move everyone, there's no way, there's no way these Necrons can be on the end of this turn within four, uh, within three inches of either this one because of the vertical distance or this one because of the horizontal distance. So tell me in the comments, who won this? They've got two. Can we zoom out? Well, let me do it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we've got two to the Necrons at the end of turn four. We've got two technically to the blue ones. I don't know if them getting their forces annihilated counts, if they still count as holding their objectives. <laughs> I'm guessing not, if I had to guess. Uh, but let me know who, who actually won this. I'm going to assume it's the Necrons because they wiped everybody out, uh, which I'm actually surprised by, even though they're exactly 500 points. Like I, um, you know, it was a closer army this time. But I guess that's the deal with Horde armies, right? We've got two Horde armies going against each other. One's a shooting army, one's a clobbering clory army. And I think... So we're finding that ranged uh, and rending is superior to melee <laughs> almost entirely, which as a tower player formerly it makes me happy that, you know, we're actually... <laughs> shooting is, it has a chance if you do it right. All right, let's wrap things up and call this a day. Alrighty, so first off, uh, thank you to the Nurgle Fitz for his comments, answering my questions, rules questions on the last video. I appreciate it. Uh, he was saying if it combat draws, the like you don't do morale, and the charging unit falls back like they lost, so that's kind of cool. Um, I can't remember the circumstance of that. He's also saying a one always succeeds, so you can like regenerate the... No, six always succeeds and a one always fails, so you can regenerate. Regenerate can still work. 
uh, is what he was saying on the rending. So, there you go. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> again, we didn't use that rule this time, so I messed that up. <laughs> Very interesting campaign. So, the Necrons will be versing the, uh, the humans, survivors. Um, we might get to see some, some tanky vehicles. I might make it a bit of a bigger match this time. Um, so, we'll need some human survivors with names uh, for, for that next video uh, to be sort of heroes, hero leaders um in this you know upcoming upcoming thing so let me know if you want to be human survivor head over to patreon.com slash rj rangers and uh you will be able to you know become a human that survived lakshmi for maybe maybe not <laughs> now the deal with the humans is they have a lot less like they're very cheap my understanding is so um we might try to go for a thousand points i do have a thousand points uh, with tanks and vehicles and stuff. I'll have to assemble some vehicles before we can do that one. We might get started on some fantasy videos. I, I was thinking of doing the fantasy campaign, but I think I'm going to do some shorter, um, sort of just small battles uh, first, just so I can kind of get a feel for the rules. Also, so I can kind of work out just how I want to do the campaign, because I've got, I, I've overdone it. As with most things I start, I've sign myself up for a project that's a little bit bigger than I can handle. So we'll just do some sort of, uh, so yeah, brush wars, some brush wars, little, little shootouts. Uh, I, I want to call them skirmishes, but because skirmish is like, it's, it's a real, real title for the game. I don't want to like get people's, you know, search engine optimization all messed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we'll call them brush wars, a little, little bout, battles out and about, um, with the fantasy ones. Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to see. Uh, any more things that you want to see, <laughs> basically. I'm here to help. I'm here to make videos. Thank you to the people who've checked out the Patreon. I know uh, no one signed up. Not many people signed up yet, but I do know a lot of people had a look at it. I'm guessing my prices are too high, that's why. <laughs> if that's the reason, tell me in the comments. Uh, you know, some people just don't like I don't like Patreon. You know, don't like spending money on things. Uh, but hey, I thought everyone's doing it. I'll do it as well. Give me something to do. Uh, and I'm going to make the videos whether anyone's on Patreon or not. So I hope you enjoyed them. If there's any feedback you have, uh, let me know what you felt about the stationary camera versus shaky camera. Is it too far away? Is it too boring? Is the video too long? Uh, you know, let me know if I need to jazz things up a bit and I will, I will certainly try. I need to work out, maybe I need to put a lens on, on my little phone and, um, you know, be able to get a bit closer to the action, uh, without you know, losing. My problem is if I'm close, I can't see everything because I've got such a small board. Anyway, thank you. I'm going to stop talking. You're sick of listening to me. You have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, you are one of the true heroes. You you take seven inch advantage, okay? You take that seven inch advantage and you, you enjoy it because you have it now. I bestow seven inch advantage on you uh, if you made it this far. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.